MJ here with a new video review. This time we're going to be looking at the Legend Studios Fever Toys line and Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is a high-end chibi style figure from them that takes the main character from the One Piece anime and turns him into a chibi character with the articulation of your traditional high-end Japanese import. So we'll start off looking at Luffy. Paintwork on him, you're going to be looking at similar to like a traditional variable action hero. Everything's fair painted, cross is sculpted, you're going to see dry washing done on the pant frill. Dry washing for the sandals. Uh, we'll get into some of the paintwork on the accessories. Each button is sculpted and painted. And the back actually emphasizes some of the shadowing and shading, probably the best out of everything. Articulation on Luffy. It's going to be closer to, again, one of your variable action heroes kind of styles. So articulation, head can rotate extensively far to the point that it's not really practical. Forward and backward is on a soft ratchet. So once you get it into the position you like, he will hold it. So there's your range of motion there. And of course, full 360. Arms uh, have a nice look where it blends in the shoulder, but then, so you get a 360 with it being fully blended like that, but then it also can butterfly in and give you a, a soft ratchet out to 90 degrees, it breaks the sculpt, but it is still there. And then you have that shoulder rotation or bicep rotation because it is on, again, a traditional anime style or Japanese import style swing joint. Elbow is again, has that soft ratchet joint similar to the head and it's done very nicely with a soft ratchet pretty much everywhere and then an additional feature that they have that I give it up over a lot of the other imports is they decided to make this cuff actually a floating piece so as you rotate it and as you reposition it you can position it how you want to hide that joint so you can keep that joint nice and hidden wrist uh, it's on a soft ratchet depending on which way you have it in and out for the tilt, and then your rotation like any other basic import. Torso is actually double ball jointed. Uh, the ball joint actually isn't that good. And the main issue is, comes from the fact that the sculpt really takes away from getting it, it being able to really get that much. So you can go about that far back and about that far forward with a mixture of using both the double ball joint at the ab and then the ball joint at the waist and then the waist again can rotate the sash is a freestanding piece so that can rotate along with it to get out of its way hips are on similar to an sh figure art so it's the drop down hip to get you your outward mobility your rotation at the thigh rotation up and go forward not really anything back because of the sculpt of the pants. Knee joints, uh, similar to what they did with the arms, the frills on the bottom of his pants are a floating piece, so that way he comes with a double jointed knee that's blue on the top, and then you can move that around as you need it, so that way it always stays at the bottom of the blue, as opposed to having it separate and deviate from the white and show that color break of where the plastic colors break. Feet are on the same joints as the wrist, so you get a soft ratchet for the tilt, and then there's the, a rotation at the where the foot actually plugs in, and a rotation where the foot meets the ankle, similar to most uh, import figures. 
then sandals, you have a toe tilt, and the sandal comes up and off. Uh, I will say, standing on his own, he is not a extensively stable figure. You can get him to stand normally, but it's not great. Um, which will segue us into accessories. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the stand. It's got Luffy and Fever Toys stamped on it from the toy line. Uh, similar to, again, I'm going to go back to the well, a Tamashi stand. Only the big difference here is going to be, instead of just being that screw and friction, they are individually ratcheted. Uh, it doesn't ratchet actually here, but again, it's got that traditional peg where it will hold in other positions, and then the claws themselves are ratcheted as well. So that's going to make it so Luffy can hold pretty much any major pose you want him to. Our next set of accessories are your basic bag of hands. Uh, additionally, he comes with two fists on. As you can see, I've already replaced one of the fists with a holding hand. And that's for a different accessory. And then he also has a thumb up. Two palm hands for the gum gum bazooka or your gum gum of choice. And then just a simple palm holding a pose hand. Pretty much gives you anything you would really need for your basic display. And again, considering it's an SD and a chibi style figure, it's more than you traditionally will get. Next accessory is a hunk of meat on the bone. Uh, if you watch the anime, you know the character's a pig, and he eats pretty much everything. So as far as that goes, wiggle it in between the fingers, just like any other friction accessory, and he'll hold it just fine. Now following in line to reference other traditional Japanese style figures, you are going to get some additional head pieces. Uh, in Luffy's case, you get different hair. As you can see, it's squared off, and that's so he can wear the straw hat. Uh, the straw hat is d sculpted very nicely, sculpted in painted sash that's actually dry brushed for weathering, and then the actual straw hat itself is dry brushed in order to give it depth and character. In addition to that, you're going to get the face that's already on him, which is your calm face, calm smile. Come on. Focus. Thank you. Angry Luffy. And then, Giant Grin Luffy. Uh, personally, I think I'm going to probably lean towards the Giant Grin with meat. But either way, it's nice to have options because, again, it's not something you traditionally get with a whole lot of SD figures. You normally get something fairly stationary. Give him a stand. So, for size comparisons with him, um, the... Blanket go-to is in this situation is going to be the Chibi Art SD Luffy. Now this is going to be made by Bandai, as you can see just by looking at it basically. It's, he's got a decent amount of accessories, but he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation really at all. I'll do some quickie reviews of those later, but for now, that's my wife's One Piece collection, so I'm going to not touch, mess with her stuff too much. Next one is the SH Figuarts Monkey D. Luffy. Now that was a cancelled line uh, with Luffy standing on the sta stand. He's actually, uh, from stand to there, about equal in height. So, I gotta say, it's a fairly substantial difference. And then as of right now, I don't have an official variable action hero of Luffy, so I can't give his comparison. Uh, price point wise, I got him the Fever Luffy for he came in at 48 shipped. And I have to say, every bit of him was definitely worth it. 
If you like One Piece, he's definitely worth getting. If you like Chibis, he's really worth getting. If you like just a fun anime toy, he's a great desk toy. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.